Hello world, human sustainability here. Um, I did not get as much done as I wanted to this weekend. Um, I am monitoring, you know, my, my heat. When I get overworked, I'm, I'm immediately, you know, shutting it down and drinking a lot of water. I'm also um, monitoring, you know, muscle strain and that, that sort of thing. Um, because one thing you do not want to do is is to overdo because then um you know you're you're down and out for a longer period of time um i do have my work cut out for me back in here i did not get up in here at all uh this weekend um and i absolutely have to uh knock down all you know not all of this but knock down a lot of this brush uh that is coming up and um you know blaze the trail in deeper than just right right to here uh this is the stuff that i did a couple of weeks ago um you can see that it's been laying here for a little while um so it, it'll be able to get burned up real good um and there's all kinds of firewood back in here down trees this is the top of one of the trees that i brought down from holy cow the bugs back in here are insane um this is the top of one of the trees I brought down um, that's back in camp. Um, but I've got, I mean, this is just, this mess in here is all old fall and it is ready to go up like nobody's business. You know, all of this stuff back in here. Um, so I absolutely want to get back in here and, and get this firewood uh, pulled out and kind of staged. Um, and I've already kind of started that. You can see, <clears throat> you can see I put some here, uh, I put some there, and I'll do the same thing, right? I'll, I'll pull this stuff out and I'll stage it off the edge of the trail, you know, off the edge of the trail, so that I can uh, come and get it uh, when I want to get it. Um, this isn't stuff that's going to get burnt up, you know, this weekend. It's too much effort to go across the the morass <laughs> of this <clears throat> um need more water this tree i i spoke about this tree uh some some previous video um and i absolutely need to get to that <coughs> excuse me you can hear you know that my my voice getting all cranky uh because i need more water um which is fine. I mean, I've been drinking a lot, but the body tells you to have more water and have more water. And, and I have, um, still not as much as I, I should be drinking. Um, I think part of that is the, 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 the bag that I'm drinking out of has a very small opening. Um, and I'll show that to you. Ooh, fire. Okay. <clears throat> So these bags are absolutely terrific, um, and this is nearly full. I've been drinking off of it since I brought it back, um, but it's nearly full. You can see how wide that is, uh, two liters, and it's just got this little little nub here, right? And there's water. Okay, so now let's not waste it. And then it has a little bit bigger, and then a little bit bigger. So it's got three lids to that to that uh, device. I've been using the smallest one, and you know, in between mosquitoes, um, <clears throat> mosquitoes bugging me while I'm drinking. Uh, uh, I don't think that I'm getting quite enough out of those bags with the little one. Uh, so I'm going to have to monitor that uh, somehow. Haven't quite figured it out yet. Um, getting the second level off of that. Uh, and the third level off of that is uh, a little bit of a pita. So I'll just, uh, I'll go ahead and, and figure something out to, to use that, the smallest one, because that is the easiest way to, to get some water. Um, and for my part, you know, if I was just drinking that constantly, if I constantly had it on me and I, I was drinking that stream of water, that would be one thing. But, you know, I come into camp, 
I get a drink of water, I do some other stuff, and then I, you know, I, I'm out over somewhere else doing something else. So um, I need to monitor that and, and get more water in me. Um, I, I, <laughs> I'm not sure why I'm so dehydrated. Once again, um, I was sick earlier in the week, so there might be something like that um, still catching up with me. So, um, not gonna not gonna show you the pack out. Uh, I'll pack out in the morning, uh, but it, the sun has gone down. Um, I haven't got as much done as I want to, or had wanted to, uh, but it's okay. I mean, I'm not I'm not stressing about that. I mean, I'm the boss, right? So, I'm a pretty cool boss. Um, I'm not going to stress out about that too much and and I'll, you know I'll leave this board where it is so that I can pick it up again uh, when I come out next time um, and you know I already spoke about the widow maker up here that I'm going to have to take care of I spoke about that I'm going to take care of that um, and then there's there's all kinds of I need to blaze a trail back in this into here there's all kinds of, of deadfall back in here, just like back over there. Um, and that's where I'm going to be pulling uh, the firewood that I'm, I'm going to be using. Um, the dry firewood, I mean. I'll be pulling it from in there and, and bring it in here. Uh, I, I will be also, obviously, um, burning up all of the, the fresh fall treetops, essentially, uh, to get that stuff, like all of this pot, pile right here. You can see this here, and all of this this kind of stuff, um, just to burn it to get it up out of the way, uh, and that's going to be a never-ending chore for the rest of the season. You can see all around here uh, where these trees have come down. You can see like all of this, right? All of this needs to just needs to get burnt up and, and sent away, right? Um, the graveyard from last year is over there and I had spoken about I wanted to take some of these trees down um, at the end of this season so I'm, I'm gonna have to get into that I'm gonna have to get in that down in there and drag all that stuff out there's a big hole there uh, and I've told you this before but it, it's <laughs> you can't quite see it um, there is a great big hole right down in here. And by hole, I just mean like a very low spot right down in there um, that I put all these trees in. So I'm going to have to obviously get this guy milled up and then dragged out, um, you know, pulled out. So milled all of this. And then for the, the top of it, I'm going to have to drag that out and then get all of this stuff out of here uh, so that I can clear the area in order to take these trees down um that's a tall order uh guys and, you know limited time in the in the season to get all this stuff milled up and all the other work that i have to get done so um i've been pushing uh pretty hard to open it up back in here we'll see how far i get um and like i said i didn't get very much done this week and well not as much as i wanted to get done um but you know i'm getting that that shape back again um and these mosquitoes holy smokes man i should have known better than to walk back into the woods <laughs> they had calmed down um in here the wind had pulled up and it pushed them out and then i hadn't disturbed any of them so they were virtually gone uh but now not so much uh in any case thanks for watching I'll keep you I'll keep you up to date on just the the labor and the effort it takes to to you know do this without you know calling somebody with machinery to do it for you. Um, obviously, that is something that that a lot of people do. They'll say, "Oh, look at me! I'm going to build a homestead. Here's my raw land," and two months later, it's completely flat and it's got a structure on it, and you're like but you didn't do that right you know a machine did that for it for you um and you know there's expense to be had with that uh sourcing my own building materials on the land is is uh part of the reason why i'm doing it this way 
um, to, to keep down on those kind of those kinds of costs. I'm already going to have costs uh, for you know different things, uh, especially for the boardwalk and the platform back in the promised land. Um, there will be certain things that I'll use treated lumber for, and you know, like this, right? This has been treated, kiln dried, dried, and then treated. Um, and surprisingly, these two, two, two by six by twelves, these two pieces of board, I mean, they they cost me twenty nine bucks. I was pretty surprised that it was only twenty nine bucks. <laughs> um, I don't know. I have. I have absolutely no knowledge of the prices on that, so maybe that's just, just you know, normal, right? Um, but yeah, in any case, uh, yeah, thanks. Like, comment, subscribe, and eat more fruit.